The diagram shows a food web from a savanna ecosystem. The arrows in the diagram point from food sources to the organisms that consume them. Use this diagram to answer the following questions. Which of the following best describes the role of the vulture in this ecosystem? This is an example of a life science question in GED Science. In order to pass your GED Science exam, you must be able to analyze diagrams from the life sciences and draw logical and useful conclusions out of them. So, let's go through each possible answer, one by one. A. Primary consumer, it feeds directly on plants. This is incorrect. According to the diagram, the vulture feeds on animals and not plants. B. Secondary consumer, it hunts and kills herbivores for food. This is incorrect. Even though the vulture eats herbivores, it does not hunt and kill them. This is because herbivores like the elephant and zebra are much bigger and stronger than the vulture. So the vulture can only eat them when they're dead. C. Decomposer. It breaks down dead organisms into nutrients. This is also incorrect. Unlike bacteria and fungi, which chemically break down their food before absorption, the vulture consumes its food directly using its mouth. D. Scavenger. It feeds on animals that have already died. This is the correct answer. As we discussed earlier, from the diagram, the elephant, zebra, and cheetah are all bigger and stronger than the vulture. So the vulture can only feed on them after they have already died. So, D is our answer. If a disease drastically reduces the zebra population in this ecosystem, which of the following is the most likely immediate effect? A. The termite population would decrease. This is incorrect. The termites feed on grasses and shrubs, not zebras. So, a reduction in the zebra population would not directly affect termites, as their food source would remain intact. B. The cheetah population would increase. This is incorrect. According to the diagram, cheetahs feed on zebras. So, a drastic reduction in zebras would decrease their food availability, which would likely lead to a decline in their population, and not an increase. C. The hyena and cheetah populations would both struggle to find food. This is the correct answer. Both hyenas and cheetahs directly rely on zebras as a primary food source. Therefore, with fewer zebras, these predators would immediately face challenges in finding enough prey to sustain their population. Now, even though we have gotten our answer, let's check out the last option. D. The grasses and shrubs would be eaten faster by elephants. This is incorrect. Zebras and elephants both consume grasses and shrubs. If the zebra population decreases, there would be less competition for these plants, potentially leaving more for elephants. However, this would not necessarily cause elephants to eat faster. It just simply means that there is more grasses and shrubs available. So, C is the correct answer. Please encourage us to post more videos by liking, sharing, and subscribing. We really appreciate it. Use the following passage to answer the questions below. A student wants to test the effect of a plant fertilizer on tomato plant growth. She sets up two groups of 10 tomato seedlings each. Group one is given fertilizer in the water weekly, while group two is given plain water, no fertilizer. All other conditions, sunlight, soil, water amount, etc., are kept the same for both groups. After eight weeks, the student measures the height of each plant. The average heights are group 1, 15.2 centimeters, group 2, 10.9 centimeters. In this experiment, what is the independent variable? A. Whether or not the plants received fertilizer. B. The amount of sunlight each plant received. C. The species of the plants being grown. 
D. The height the plants reached after eight weeks. To be good at this section of the GED, you must be able to identify the independent and dependent variables. Independent and dependent variables are used a lot in scientific investigations. The independent variable is the variable that is manipulated or changed in an experiment to see how it affects something else. On the other hand, the dependent variable is the variable that is measured or observed, and it changes in response to the independent variable. Since the experiment is testing how fertilizer affects tomato plant growth, the variable being changed is whether the plants get fertilizer or not. The plants in group one are given fertilizer in the water. However, the plants in group two are given plain water with no fertilizer. So whether or not the plants receive fertilizer is the independent variable. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Using the same passage, what is the dependent variable in this experiment? A. Whether or not fertilizer was used. B. The final height of the tomato plants. C. The number of plants in each group. D. The amount of water given to each plant. Remember, we said earlier that the independent variable is the variable that is manipulated or changed in an experiment to see how it affects something else and the dependent variable is the variable that is measured or observed, and it changes in response to the independent variable. According to the passage, the final height of the tomato plants is the dependent variable. This is because the final height is the variable being measured. From the passage, the student measures the height of each plant. Therefore, B is the correct answer. Using the same passage, which of the following conclusions is best supported by the results of the experiment? This time, let's go through the possible answers, one by one. A. Fertilizer had no observable effect on tomato plant growth. This is incorrect. According to the passage, the plants in group one, which received fertilizer, grew to an average height of 15.2 centimeters, taller than the plants in group two, which only reached 10.9 centimeters without fertilizer. So fertilizer had an observable effect. B, too much fertilizer caused stunted growth in the plants. This is incorrect. There is no evidence from the passage that backs this claim. C, the plants without fertilizer grew taller than those with fertilizer. This is also incorrect. According to the passage, plants without fertilizer in group two were shorter than plants with fertilizer in group one. So the correct answer is D, the fertilizer increased the growth of tomato plants, and this is because the fertilized plants grew taller on average. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. Check out our other GED videos on YouTube. Don't forget to visit ultimateged.com for more exclusive content, a GED social group, complete GED math course and take a free test.